Sometimes you will be given a quadratic and asked to tell us all about it. Some things you might need to determine are intercepts, extrema, line of symmetry, domain, range, graph, or equation. Sometimes you'll be given a graph, and sometimes you'll just be given the function. We'll do an example of each. Given this graph, determine the following things. And then we have our list of things here that we need to find out about the parabola. Now, most of these things can be determined just from inspecting the graph, which is really nice. Now, the x-intercepts are where the graph crosses the x-axis. We can see this happens at x equals 1 and x equals 5. If the intercepts were not clear on the graph, we would need to use an alternate method to find them, like factoring or using the quadratic formula. The extrema always occurs at the vertex. The vertex of this function is 3, negative 4. The parabola opens upwards, so this is a minimum of y equals negative 4. The line of symmetry, which would cut the parabola into two equal halves, always occurs at the x value of the vertex. So the line of symmetry is x equals 3. The domain of a parabola is always all of the real numbers, because it extends forever in both horizontal directions. So we write x in r. Now this parabola has a minimum of y equals negative 4, so all real numbers greater than or equal to negative 4 are included in the range. Finally, let's determine the equation of this graph. We notice that it has been translated 4 units down and 3 to the right, making our equation x minus 3 squared minus 4. If you want a more detailed explanation on how to figure out the equation from a graph, review section 4.3. Alright, new example. Given the quadratic x squared minus 5x minus 24, determine the following, and then we have a very similar list to the one that we did in the last example. Now, you have a bit of a choice to make here. You could convert the equation to vertex form by completing the square and then graph it if you want to, but we can actually find all of the information we need just from the equation as well. The x-intercepts are the solutions to x squared minus 5x minus 24 equals 0. You could use factoring or the quadratic formula to find them. This equation will factor, so that's what I'm going to do. What are two numbers that multiply to negative 24 and add to negative 5? Well, it's negative 8 and 3. So our x-intercepts will be x equals 8 and x equals negative 3. To find the extrema, we need to recall that the x value of the vertex will be negative b divided by 2a. Negative negative 5 divided by 2 times 1 is just 5 divided by 2, which is a nice 2.5. We then need to plug that into our function to find the y value. 2.5 squared minus 5 times 2.5 minus 24 is equal to negative 30.25. We know this is a minimum because the a value of this quadratic is positive, so the quadratic opens upwards. So, we have a minimum of y equals negative 30.25. The line of symmetry always occurs at the x value of the vertex, and we just found out that this is x equals 5 over 2, or x equals 2.5. The domain of a quadratic is always all real numbers, and we know that we have a minimum y value of negative 30.25, so the range will be all real numbers greater than or equal to negative 